Hey everybody, good afternoon. <sighs> I I don't know what to say. I just will say that um I have to follow the the leading of the Holy Spirit and do what God is telling me to do. So today I had a strange thing happen to me. Um for the first time in my life I heard in my spirit, but it was me saying, I feel like preaching. Now if you know me you know about my calling and it's not something I talk about because for one I don't really think it's everybody's business and two um, I've spent a long time running away from it <sighs> um, but today it was pressed heavily on my heart to share where I'm at in life um, some of you may know that this year, I decided that my one word would be uncomfortable. And I have a little mantra that I have posted on my desk. It's in the um, console of my, in my car. It's in the bathroom. It's in my bedroom. And basically, it says everything you want is outside your comfort zone. And so, live life uncomfortably and get it all. And so, last night, <laughs> gosh, Ariel, you are my muse. Um, I was talking to one of my sisters, Ariel, and um, we were just talking and praying, and I mentioned to her about God calling me to be uncomfortable in this season, and just how he's been blowing my mind so far this year with pushing me outside of my comfort zone, and how it's been a tremendous blessing to me. And so today, <laughs> in my email, I had... Um, the second devotion of a series, Leave Your Comfort Zone. And all I could do was laugh. So I read the first one and it talked about Moses and the second one too. And so uh, I just felt so full in my spirit. And that's when I heard, I feel like preaching. And so I'm glad to share with you guys the beautiful thing about living outside your comfort zone. Um, God kind of started me early with that. Like when he, he told me this back in 2012, to look to Abraham, and Abraham is another person in the Bible who lived outside of his comfort zone. God called Abraham in Genesis 12 and 1 to leave his family, leave his, his, his countrymen, and go to a place that God would show him. And so that was my scripture, that passage, that chapter. Abraham was who I held on to when I left all my family and friends and went to New Orleans to go to law school because God told me to go to law school. When he told me that I would leave and go back home, I followed him and, and I did it. And I was reminded of how Abraham left Canaan and went to Egypt and then went back to Canaan. And everywhere along the way, he planted altars. And it was even during that time of being in New Orleans and even going back to South Carolina that I was in an unsettled place. I wasn't able to buy furniture, well, fully furnish the place that I was living in. And so now to be here and I have a fully furnished apartment, like God allowed me to buy everything that I wanted. And not to say that that means I'm going to be here forever, but that that means that this is the season, this is the place that he's told me to be for this time period, for this set time. And so, as I think about all of the things he's had me do, you know, now I'm sharing videos on Facebook, which was not my thing. I don't have a problem talking to complete strangers and testifying to complete strangers, but when it comes to testifying to my friends and witnessing to my friends and people I've grown up with and who've known me, who think they know me, it's something that's uncomfortable to me. Um, even now, you know, being in groups and, you know, using some of the other gifts that God has revealed to me along the way, it's uncomfortable because, you know, I want to make sure that it's the Holy Spirit speaking through me and not Marquita or not something I know based on knowledge. It's uncomfortable to correct people, people older than me. It's uncomfortable to be that person that, you know, God is speaking through when you know you still have areas in your life that you need deliverance yourself. But I think it's so beautiful because he loves me so much that he trusted me to be able to be a vessel to be used but more importantly to call me out of my comfort zone to call me from that comfortable place and call me into something that's greater than myself 
And so today I encourage, I admonish, I implore you to leave your comfort zone. If God is calling you outside of everything that looks familiar, whether it's in the natural or whether it's spiritually, do it. Don't hesitate. Don't wait. Don't let people discourage you. Don't let people distract you. Don't let people uh, tell you you aren't qualified. Because if God called you, he qualified you. He justified you. Jesus dying on the cross means that God can be willing to use you if you've accepted him as your personal Lord and Savior. And then when you turn your life over to God, he will do miraculous things with you. Um, I just think it's amazing because... I am not perfect. I fall short every day. I get mad. I get frustrated. I get short patience, short tempered. I fall victim to attacks just like everybody else. And it's just so humbling. And it just, the things that God does for me is just, it blows my mind from my health, from um, moving and moving me where I said I wanted to live. Um, Moving me uh, from South Carolina, well, from New Orleans back to South Carolina, and then from South Carolina to here, um, growing me and maturing me, and I definitely have more maturing to do and more growing to do, but I'm just willing now, and I just thank God for loving me, for saving me for a time such as this, to be an encouragement to y'all, like, I ain't nobody. <laughs> I'm not anybody special. At least I don't think I am. Like, I know I'm special in God's eyes. I know my mama loves me. I know my daddy loved me. My brothers and my family, all that. I know that. But I didn't feel worthy to be used by God. And so for him to use me the way he uses me and to speak through me and to do all the things that he does for me. I know it's just a sign of how much he loves me. And the beautiful thing is, is that he doesn't just love me that way. He loves you that way too. So today I encourage you to leave your comfort zone. Go to the place that God is calling you to. Uh, let him show you the path. And what's even more beautiful is that um, when I began my one word for this year, I sat down and searched through some scriptures and God gave me several scriptures that I can refer to. But today, the one that was in the devotion really touched my heart the most because it clearly refers to stepping outside of your comfort zone, being uncomfortable. And it's Isaiah 42 and 16. Um, I will lead them along uh, unfamiliar paths. This is very unfamiliar to me to in all of these different ways now being called on to speak up to be the spokesperson to be the voice and so god loves us y'all <laughs> he don't want us to be the same you don't want us to be stagnant you don't want us not growing he wants us to learn the lessons and apply them and share them and testify about them and I just really hope you guys take the uh, that step outside of your comfort zone, whether it's giving your life to God, giving your life to Christ, or whether it's um, surrendering to a ministry call, or whether it's being the voice of reason in your circle of influence, or whether it's being an intercessor. Leave your comfort zone. Bye.